Well, it will take six hours and 60 votes, but the Senate Tuesday will vote on Keystone XL Pipeline legislation. Lauren Gardner is covering the debate in the Senate. She's with CQ Roll Call. What's behind the Senate taking up the Keystone measure? Well, uh, the, there's obviously some, some political implications here on the line. Uh, Senator Landrieu of Louisiana is in a very very heated runoff race with uh, Congressman Bill Cassidy, a Republican who is currently serving in the House. And uh, for, for Senator Landrieu, this is a really key to demonstrating that she can um, she can legislate and hold her own on the floor of the Senate, even when her leaders aren't necessarily behind her. And uh, she wants another legislative win to take back home to Louisiana and to show voters that she can get things done. What would the Keystone Bill do? Uh, the Keystone Bill would uh, basically take the approval process away from the president and give it to Congress, and and it would uh, it would just deem the pipeline approved, and uh, consider the environmental impact statement that the State Department already issued as having fulfilled the requirements under an environmental policy law uh, that has to be followed in order for. Um, for a cross-border permit to be to be considered. Let's look at the 60 votes needed in the Senate to, to uh, pass the measure. Your article, you quote uh, Senator Mary Landrieu as saying, I am confident that, uh, that we'll have the 60 votes to pass it. Where do things stand with uh, the counting of the, uh, the votes? Well, as of right now, it still appears that Senator Landrieu has 59 votes. Uh, last week, Senators Carper and Bennett both pledged their support for, uh, for the bill. And uh, as of right now, we haven't found that 60th vote yet, but uh, Landrieu aides have said that they don't think she would have uh, she would have pushed this hard if she didn't have 60 votes. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see going into tonight and tomorrow. Uh, and it seem, seem, seems like a fair amount of pressure out there, too. You retweeted uh, a modified tweet from Bill McKibben, the um, environmental activist, saying that a warning shot fired. Your words, Democratic leadership, Bill McKibben saying, Senator Schumer marched in the climate march. If he votes for the Keystone Pipeline, he's never invited again. Just give us a snapshot of what are some of the other pressures that uh, senators are feeling. Well, Democrats in particular are feeling a lot of pressure from environmentalists who really want to tie Keystone to climate change and make the argument that by allowing this pipeline to go forward, it would just exacerbate the level of greenhouse gas emissions the Earth is already experiencing. So uh, for any Democrats that want to be taken seriously on climate change now and in the future, there's a lot of pressure there. Um, and for Senator Schumer's part, his office has said he's voting no against the pipeline. So. Well, Bill Cassidy over in the House last week got 31 Democrats to to vote for his measure. What happens to Congressman Cassidy's Keystone measure if Senator Landrieu's passes? If Senator Landrieu's bill passes, then uh, the House bill by Congressman Cassidy will be considered passed. So that's the actual bill that will be sent to the president's desk. So we'll have Cassidy's name on it, not Landrieu's, but Senator Landrieu has said that it doesn't matter to her as long as the bill actually reaches the president's desk. Back to how the, the politics of this. You mentioned this and how this is playing in Louisiana. You write in a roll call, and here's the, the headline in roll call, Keystone dominates the Senate runoff, but does Louisiana care? What's the story behind that? Well, there's been a lot made about this Keystone vote, and for both candidates, they want to be able to take home some kind of victory, however they're going to get it to the voters. But the question is, do Louisiana voters actually think this is a wedge issue? Uh, for Senator Landrieu in particular, a lot of her legislative victories that she's uh, touted on the campaign trail have had pretty direct impacts on Louisiana citizens. Uh, for example, earlier this year when she successfully negotiated a delay to flood insurance premium increases, for example. But it's a big issue to President Obama. Has the White House said whether or not the president will, will sign or veto the bill? Uh, they've been very, uh, they haven't wanted to say directly one way or, no or another, but President Obama has repeatedly said while he's on foreign travel that he wants the State Department process and the separate Supreme Court process in Nebraska to play out. So uh, he, if he had his druthers, he wouldn't have a bill at his desk, but uh, they, they haven't said one way or another if, this, if they would issue a definitive veto threat. Viewers can read more at rollcall.com and follow Lauren Gardner on Twitter, on Twitter at uh, Gardner underscore LM. Thanks for that preview.